Hello everyone, welcome back to Flutter Party 101. And today is going to be more of a story, it is a story time, um, about my trip to a amazing place called Harford Glen. Now, this place is amazing. We went there for two days on a field trip, me and my class did, and um, it's really awesome there because you get to learn and a lot of the activities are outside. Uh, how, um, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so you get to do a lot to learn about the environment, help the environment, and just help. And you know, we did a lot with birds, but there's also many more amazing things there. And so we went the 17th and 18th of February 2016, so this year and this month, the time that I'm recording this. Um, um, so this is actually probably almost a week. Oh, it's almost a week after. It's the it's Tuesday. Uh, it's Tuesday the twenty third. <laughs> and so I'm looking at my calendar over there. So excuse me. And um, so we went. And there used to be, and they're going to try to bring it back, a program where you could sleep over the night there with your class. And they had these bunk beds. A uh, hairy pony, he did that, and he had a lot of fun. I wanted to. They didn't. They had to cut uh, cut costs, so um, they don't do that anymore. And so, um, what we did was we went there in the morning, about uh, like after school started. We got on the bus. We went over there, and what was really awesome was there, uh, we, the first day, well, the first day that we got there, uh, we went to this little, the little dining hall pavilion place, and we, um, they taught us, like, the basic rules, like, no running, um, you know, like, stuff like that, you know, don't go anywhere without permission of an adult, don't go anywhere without a friend, you know, stuff like that. And then they set us off to our first activity, which with me was with a lady, and we talked, I'm not going to say any names, obviously, and we talked about um, vermicompost, which if you don't know what vermicompost is, it's basically when you use worms, called red wiggler worms, yes, I remember all this, <laughs> called red wiggler worms, and you give them your food scraps, from nature, so like nothing like potato chips or meat or stuff like that. Just like natural stuff, like eggshells and like tomatoes and like stuff like that. Um, and you and it's like oh, it's like a really cool way to compost. And we didn't even notice, but she had two bins of the of the worms and stuff, and we were able to play. I had like play with them and like in all the compost that they made it was really cool I had like a handful of little worms I was the worm queen I was holding all the worms and it was awesome um so then after that you know we had we did that all morning pretty much I don't want to know my notification I'm sorry guys <laughs> so after all that we um went to lunch and then after lunch we went I don't, what did we do? Oh, we went back into her room, and we started working with birds. Uh, well, actually, we did birds in the, in the morning, and we learned how to use binoculars and stuff, and then we did vermicomposting in the afternoon, and then we went, we had snack, and then we went to another room where our te or our actual teacher, like from school, who came with us, taught us a little bit more about recycling energy and such. It was freezing that night, and then we went home on the bus about six o'clock. We got back to school. Our parents picked us up. We went home. The next day, we came back to the place, and um, we we went straight to the room with the lady that we were with pretty much the entire day, um, the day before, and we did something called birding. Now, birding is not bird watching. It's different. Um, 
birding is what we did was you go for a little walk um we walked and i did this all with a boot on and it was tough tell me like i'm just gonna tell you it was really tough so anyway you we went on a little walk and we kept we had our binoculars and stuff and we kept track of how many of the different types of birds we saw and then once we got all that information we got back to the classroom we put it into this website where they gather all that information for a project and we put it on the website and we sent it in and stuff and we so we sent all that information on the website and we put it and we posted it on the website so we sent all that information to this scientific study group type thing and it was pretty cool and then after that we wanted to another I think we, yeah, after that, it was our last time with her, which was really sad because I liked her, but, um, then we went to this next room where we did this bird criminal investigation thing, and we, our story was, there was, these aren't real stories, so don't think that they're real, they just made them up, and they were really fun to do, so what we did was we, um, we each got a, well, there was four groups, I was in the green group, and it was awesome. <laughs> and so our story was there was a lady that was coming back from Africa. I think it was Africa. I don't know, I have the paper, but it's downstairs, I don't want to get it. <laughs> and she had on a pair of blue earrings, you know, feather earrings, very pretty earrings. We actually had the earrings they were just like some cheap earrings that they picked up we weren't allowed to like open them up and touch them and whatever but what happened uh was when she was going through customs they confiscated the earrings because um with the flu going on over there i don't know what it's called um there it is the u.s made a law that you are not allowed to take any bird parts including feathers from exotic songbirds and bring them back to the US. So they confiscated them and they sent them to us and asked, well, is it a songbird from that place? Or is it just like a chicken, our other thing was a chicken. Was it a chicken feather that they just dyed blue? So we had evidence, we had photos, and we had um, the story. So we had, um, we, our evidence that we had were the earrings themselves, or the earrings, the earrings themselves, which we weren't allowed to touch. We had earwax from the victims left, or right, or I don't remember, one of their ears, which we weren't obviously allowed to open that bag. We had photos of her going through customs, and we just had some documents. I believe, I think that's all the evidence we had. And so, the, um, Earlier before that, we talked about how to identify the different feathers, yada, yada. So, we also got a card that had a piece of the feather on it um, for a microscope. So, we put it in the mic put it under the microscope, and we actually had a, a debate whether it was a chicken or was a songbird. But our conclusion came that it was a songbird, so she was guilty. That was a lot of fun. And after that... We went into another room where we learned about bird feeders. We did a lot with birds. <laughs> um, we learned how about different bird feeders, different feeds, the prices for the bird feeders and the feeds themselves, all that sort of stuff. And then after that, Harford Glen has lots of different places where they have bird feeders set up. So what we did was we went to the different bird feeders and we um, charted how many birds we saw at each bird feeder. We charted the sunlight, we charted the wind, we charted um, what type of vegetation was around us and stuff like that. And then we just sat and we had binoculars, we had iPads that had this awesome app where you could search up birds that, and it wasn't like a, oh, what's your like type in your bird's name here it was a what size was your bird where did you see the bird what colors were your bird and stuff like that so you didn't have to like know the bird by name uh, but what was also awesome was you could play the calls so you could try to call the birds to you which was awesome and we got quite a lot of birds 
and it was really fun and but the one place the first place we went to was up a really steep hill and we had to climb it wasn't fun in a boot plus it was a lot of mud uh, on the way down I actually slipped and dropped stuff but I'm okay <laughs> um so uh, after that we went back into her room we charted everything on a, the big board we all had the stuff and then we um our teacher did a lesson on the Lorax and then we had campfire campfire was awesome it was freezing but it was awesome we went into this little pavilion area and there was a little fireplace like place where there's a campfire going and the they had um high school like 10th 11th and 12th graders that were counselors and they did skits we sang some campfire songs and then the counselors got some awards and then they gave out and then excuse me i don't know what's come over <laughs> um and then they had these awards called the environmental stewardship awards they are awards for students there's two per class there's two two two, uh, two students per class um that got one a girl and a boy uh well most of the classes one classes it was one class it was two girls but you know um it was for students that went above and beyond they were always they were like it's for students that did a really good job and i got one i'm not gonna flip it over because it has my actual name on the back so um obviously i'm not gonna flip it over but i can show you the front I'm closer to the camera this is it it's a piece of actual wood that they put um they put the Harford Glen logo it's a little wood duck it says Harford Glen uh environmental education center that's where we went and then it says stewardship award and then it kind of feels like they put Mod Podge over that you see the shine that the lights reflecting it's like all shiny and um like I said it's actual wood it has my name and the date on the back I'm not going to show you my name obviously so it says 2 18 16 the day that I got it and this is it I'm again it's really hard because I want to just like flip it over and say and here's the back but I'm not going to so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this story time it's going to take forever to upload <laughs> but anyway why am I <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and if you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.